Hey guys, Byron Childers. I am joining you today from my kitchen and back door, along with Sophie and my beautiful wife Ashley here in the background. Um, wanted to do a little different video uh, for you guys today on the door armor from Armor Concepts LLC. And I didn't know this, but they're actually based out of Nashville, which is pretty cool. Um, I ordered this set online yesterday and it showed up today, FedEx. Um, now what it is, uh, it is the, sorry I'm reading it down here, the Door Armor Max Combo Set. I bought a couple of those and then the step down um, for the three outside doors that we have in our house. Uh, there's been rumor of some recent break-ins, kicking in the back door, different stuff like that. And so I was searching around on YouTube and found uh, the video series from ITS Tactical on home defense, home security, which is awesome. Highly recommend that. Check it out. Uh, those guys do a great job, and uh, that's actually how I found out about this. So we're going to do a quick install video, and uh, it may not be all that glamorous, but we'll figure it out. I've already put two of these in, so I kind of have the hang of it now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and learn something. Uh, real quick, the Door Armor Max Combo Set um, was around $79. It is early summer 2017, so take that for what it's worth. All right, here we'll cut to the install. All right, so this will be my first unboxing video. But here's the box. It came uh, in a taller box with three of these in it. So here's what you get in the packaging. You get two plates that go over the deadbolt and the doorknob underneath. You get the hinge plates. And then the lock side plate. Now I'm not saying this right at all. But uh, you can consult their website. I'll put the uh, link in the description box below. Here's a save 15% coupon. And they give you a bit, which is nice. I don't know if you can see that. And plenty of, uh, there's two and a half inch screws and then a bunch of three and a half inch screws. Now, what's neat about this is it goes through the door frame into the stud. And there's a couple extras in there too. So I will uh, get to installing this. I may play around and figure out how to fast forward stuff too. So if not, enjoy. <laughs>
All right, well that didn't take long at all. Uh, the website said 30 minutes. Uh, once you've done a couple of them, you can kind of do it a little quicker. But um, you'll notice this is what you see from the inside. There's the two locks on the, uh, the two plates on the locks. There's a hinge plate down there. There's a hinge plate down there. And you can pick what color you want. I believe they have a bronze, um, a black, and a white. Clearly I went with white. But, um, so you start off by putting those on. And then the hinge plates fit over the hinge. And these are three and a half inch screws. The two and a half go in the door. There's the bottom. And then here is the kick plate, I guess they would call it. It's on the website. but So it fits right over your existing stuff. And then these little cutouts, they twist out and line up right with the holes that are there already. And that's it. Once you get those screwed in and uh, get it all flush, it'll fit behind the, uh, oh, whatever they call that, the seal. Looks good. From the outside, really can't see anything from the outside except just a little bit of those plates all right now what all this is supposed to do um, with the screws going in here typically say a burglar or somebody trying to break in I guess that's the same uh, they came up to the back door and all that's holding this in here is this little piece of wood and that little plate so if he kicked this hard enough, this would bust right through that wood and swing open. Now, I know you're going to say, well, hey, that's a glass window, and he could break that and reach in and turn that knob. Yes, you're right. I will be going to the store after I wrap this video up, and I'm going to get a double drum lock for this to fix that problem. I've got a glass break sensor coming in the mail uh, that will work with our alarm system uh, for that very purpose. So the screws go in here, makes that stronger. The plates go in there on both of those, strengthens that up. And on the Max kit, if they hit it from the other side of the door, it could break the hinges out. So these two plates here protect from that. Three and a half inch screws actually goes through the door frame into the stud. So instead of all that pressure being exerted on just the hinge, it is now being transferred to the door frame and the stud, essentially this wall. Same, same thing over here. Instead of it just being that original plate that would knock right through there with enough force, it now transfers all that energy to the entire plate on the door frame, which is three and a half inch screwed into the stud. So oh, the uh, original video mentioned that uh, he heard about this through a sheriff's buddy of his who uh, had a battering ram and was trying to break down a door at a house to serve a warrant and they could not break down the door. Um, I believe they got in some other way and they went around to the front door and saw that this similar style system uh, was installed. So it, uh, I dig it and uh, I think you guys will too. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you learned something. I was pretty impressed when I saw it on ITS Tactical um, and jumped on it pretty quick. So check them out. It is armorconcepts.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. And uh, if you don't mind, if you go on there and you do order something or call them up, put them in the notes that you saw it on this channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And like this video if you like it. Leave me a comment and with questions, concerns, whatever. And I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, thank you guys for watching.